Okay, so they're telling us about a voltaic cell and they want us to write cell notation to describe this thing. Let's get this drawn first, just to figure out what it looks like. They say we have a cadmium electrode, bar of cadmium metal, in a solution of cadmium ions, and there's nitrates in there too. And on the other side we have a bar of magnesium, and the solution over here is magnesium ions and more nitrates. Nitrates dissolve really well in water, so you'll see them a lot when we're making these solutions. And there's a salt bridge and there's wiring. And they want this written in cell notation. Cell notation is a condensed way of writing the reactants in a cell in order from one side to the other and you write one of the solid pieces like the cadmium and then the ions in the liquid and then the ions in the other liquid and then the other solid. So we could write this thing this isn't quite right I'm gonna put this in red so this is a small cheat just to give you an idea you could write this thing CD that's the solid piece then a slash and then you put the cadmium ions comma nitrate ions. The salt bridge is represented by a double slash so that means one side is ended and now we're talking about the other side. On the other side we have the magnesium ions and the nitrates again slash and then our magnesium. Now we're gonna have to make a couple tweaks to this to make it actually correct but this is the idea. It's the solid piece, the liquid, the other liquid, and then the other solid piece. Now, two tweaks we have to make to this to get it actually right. If you write out the reactions for a cadmium magnesium cell, you'll find that the nitrates do not actually do anything. And if you have spectator ions like this, they should not be in your cell notation. So those you take out. Another thing, there's kind of an arbitrary rule that says when you write something in cell notation, the anode should always be on the left. So it should always be the anode stuff, then the ions in the anode side, double slash, then the ions on the cathode side, and then finally the cathode. Is that what we have here? Let's get our reactions written out and find it. Magnesium and, mag and cadmium, sorry. Here's cadmium. Magnesium's way down here. So we're going to have cadmium 2 turning into cadmium. CD2 plus picks up two electrons and becomes cadmium. And the other reaction will be magnesium metal turning into magnesium ions. So which one's which? This is a reduction because the charge is going down from 2 to 0. Reduction has a C in it, so this reaction must happen at the cathode. And the cathode is supposed to be on the right, so the sides are actually backwards here. If we want to do this right, the magnesium is the anode, and so we should start off with the magnesium metal, then the ions in the liquid on the magnesium side, double slash for the salt bridge, then the cadmium, and finally the cathode. Now it's finally right. So it's okay to set it up like this and not worry about the order first, just get all the substances down in order, but when you finalize it you want to throw away any spectators and make sure that your anode is on the left side, cathode on the right side.